Hello, good afternoon. This is uh, Adil Fazal, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, US markets for the trading session Wednesday, the 4th of October 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, Signal's market updates for leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Okay, so let's, uh, let's certainly delve into the markets. Yesterday, the market stats for the uh, US session. Again, we're making pushing to new highs again. Will we continue? Good question. We have Mr. Uh, yeah, Mrs. Yellen on, on tap and obviously Mr. Draghi later on. So it'd be interesting to see what happens there. The Dow pushing higher up 84 points, uh, 22,641. S&P 2,534. NASDAQ pushing higher as well. And let's see if the Nasdaq can actually maintain its uh, its strength. Now, I'm actually by, my bias is bearish. I actually have a short position on the Nasdaq at present uh, going into uh, today uh, and looking for weakness, given the fact that we have concerns with regards to the European Union. Uh, certainly, uh, obviously, uh, imposing taxes on the unpaid tax bill with regards to Apple, Amazon, etc. So, again, that will be risk negative. Okay, so uh, technicals, or should we say, uh, let's look, focus on the uh, fundamentals first of all before we focus on technicals. Fundamentals, really, uh, Australian markets weaker overnight, Nikkei more or less flat, Hang Seng still moving higher, but to a large extent, that certainly is baked into the cake. Uh, European data mixed with retail sales, certainly weaker than expected, so no real thrust higher in European markets today. If anything, the gap higher certainly was closed very quickly. Uh, in terms of the US data, we've had ADP numbers come in at 135, uh, certainly slightly better than expected, the 125K. We're now uh, awaiting the uh, market services, PMI, composite, ISM. And then obviously we have Mr. Draghi and Miss Yellen and also Mr. Bullard as well speaking. So you have quarter past six, 8 p.m. and quarter past eight UK time. And that, they will all be market moving speeches, so keep an eye on them. In terms of the technical picture, let's look at the Dow Jones first of all. Uh, let's go to the Dow. As you can see here, it's constantly making new highs. Uh, daily chart at the moment. Other than, I mean, one could, uh, you can't argue anything else other than bullish, really. Uh, I, think, I think that's it, really. I'm not even going to uh, go into it any further. In terms of the Dow Transports, let's look at the Dow Transports again, certainly pushing to new highs. Obviously, the uh, tax cut and tax reform, certainly uh, front running that to a large extent. I mean, the rally itself has been pretty phenomenal. Obviously, new highs uh, present. Yesterday, we or previous day, we did actually get a potential topping tail candle, but then obviously it was negated, so uh, watch out for that. In terms of the Russell, is really the one that I'm focusing on. <clears throat> That's the index that I'd be looking at. Obviously, you are looking at a potential topping tail or topping pattern there, a bearish hanging man candle. Uh, whether or not, obviously, that's uh, negated is a different question altogether, so just be, made, be mindful of that. A uh, 60-minute chart at the moment, looking at the Russell IWM. We still continue with the higher highs and higher lows. A 10-minute chart, again, looking at potential double top resistance. Now, keep an eye on the Russell. If you see weakness in the Russell, then you are going to see weakness in the S&P. 500 too, so keep an eye on that okay in terms of the s p again we made new highs okay 10 minute chart clearly showing that demonstrating that 60 minute chart still remaining in that bullish channel but bulls certainly have total control and daily chart certainly push pushing higher too okay so certainly looking for a strength here at present now whether or not that strength continues is a different question altogether again the index that's lagging at the moment is a Nasdaq. So let me just quickly bring up the Nasdaq here now, given the fact that we've come to a conclusion the Dow, the Dow Transport certainly all uh, blatantly, blatantly bullish. Okay, blatantly bullish at present. Uh, really, the focus really will, will remain on the uh, the actual uh, S and P, Russell, and the uh, Nasdaq. So let's bring up the Nasdaq for you. Look at the biotechs first of all. Daily chart at the moment on the biotechs. You certainly have closed that gap, so you are looking into resistance now on the biotechs. And therefore, you are looking for risk aversion. Uh, that's my my premise. So again, looking for a potential top on the Nasdaq, given the fact that we've closed a gap here on biotechs. Okay, so looking for reversal there. Let's look at the rest of the indexes as well. Nasdaq 100. Again, there was a H&S formation. Again, looking for weakness here, given the fact that we failed to push to new highs. Again, looking for a lower high. 60-minute chart, you have a bear flag. Horizontal resistance is holding as well. And the daily chart at the moment is holding that double top resistance. So, again, looking for weakness on the Nasdaq, led by the biotechs, obviously, into gap fill resistance. Obviously, hurt by the uh, situation with regards to uh, the uh, bill that's being forced upon them by the European Union of back taxes. I think there's 13 billion alone just for Apple. So, again, that certainly is risk negative. Uh, SP tech sector as well, certainly stalling at that key resistance. We'll see whether or not we break higher or we start to reverse, certainly expecting a reversal on that news. 
Okay, Apple uh, stock as well, certainly expected to come under pressure ever since it released the iPhone 8. Certainly was a failure from my perspective as nothing new was certainly released there. Daily chart of Apple as well, certainly indicating weakness ever since it closed a gap below. Okay, bias certainly remains bearish given the fact that we are into previous support equal resistance on, the, on Apple. There are gaps, I mean there's a gap here, here, and obviously you've got resistance here at the moment. But again, looking for further weakness, especially with regards to the tax bill. Okay, uh, looking at the uh, biotechs as well, let's just quickly look at the semiconductor. Semiconductor certainly have break, broken out on the daily chart. I think we had the wrong reasons was due to AMD and NVIDIA. Okay, signing a new potential agreement, so we'll see. Again, certainly looking for weakness on uh, on, on, on uh, NASDAQ. Uh, if the biotechs start to reverse lower, then you are going to see even further pressure. And it'd be interesting to see if the uh, biotechs continue their rally. Okay, so that's the status quo at present. Certainly looking for weakness on the NASDAQ specifically. Uh, again, looking for weakness on the FTSE as well, given the fact that we've uh, certainly uh, over overshot there to a large extent. Okay, European markets still uh, remaining buoyant, even though we have the concerns with regards to Catalonia. Uh, and again, it'll be market moving with regards to um, Mr. Draghi, Yellen, uh, certainly speaking today. Again, let's see how the markets re uh, react there and keep an eye out on the ISM and the PMI numbers. Okay, I think that's a good summation, really, of uh, Europe, of the US markets. Be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers. Goodbye.